Howdy y'all, this is Andrew Chicken here and I'm here to learn you a thing or two about how to play this here glorious monster whose name is uh, Can, Can, is that Can? I have no idea. Uh, now this here feller, he looks kind of stupid right now because he's wearing all this shiny uh, gold and red armor. And uh, we don't like that. So to turn this behemoth into the most patriotic American man you have ever seen, what you're going to do is you're just going to equip this skin right here. Oh, now look at him. Ain't that just the most American thing y'all have ever seen? Now to build a loadout for this guy, you're going to have to get yourself a lot of this Never Surrender card. In fact, we're just going to take this and crank it up to five. Right? Now what I've learned is that the best tactic when you go out onto the battlefield is you're going to need to shout in their face as much as possible. That way you not only get the healing and the immortality, but you also intimidate the enemies because you got that loud American roar. Next up go ahead and get you some End of the Breach at level 3. This way you can storm into the enemy lines like America stormed the beaches of Normandy back in 1944. After that, you're gonna get some Life Taker, which is right here. And uh, that way you can just shout, grab people, and do all that fun stuff a little bit faster. And then after that, you're gonna need some excessive force right here. Obviously, you can never have too many bullets, so cramming a few extra in that heavy repeater of yours will really help out. Now, the last card I like to have is a little something called Hulking Strength. Now, this is your secret weapon, right? Because what this card will do is it'll make it so you can throw people behind you a lot more often. Which is just fantastic for getting people away from your oil. I, I mean the objective. <laughs> and finally, you're going to want to get yourself a nice American title for this awesome loadout that you just made. I think I'll call this one the Liberator. Because, well, that's what it does. It, uh, it liberates the enemies out and away from the objective. Now right about here is where you want to get yourself a nice cold beer, crack it open, and take a nice drink before you get into battle. It's important that you stay hydrated, and while you're at it, make sure you've got yourself a cheeseburger with extra bacon and American flag on top, since an army does march on its stomach. Now the talent you're going to go for here is Storm of Bullets. Because it's basically like cramming two guns into your gun. They shoot a lot faster, they got extra bullets, and they do a little bit less damage because you cram them all together. But uh, that's just fine because overall you'll be able to kill the enemies before they can say, uh, well, whatever the heck those trees are speaking. Alright, so as always, it's important that you spawn camp because you gotta bully them into oblivion. You know, you ain't doing your job unless your enemy is totally defeated. Because that's when the democracy happens. So, uh, there's a big man up there. Let's see if we can grab him, because it's all about that intimidation tactic, you know. If you grab the biggest man in the room and throw him behind you, they gonna run in fear. Because, well, uh, you're just too strong, man. Yeah, come here. Oh, I'll miss. Yeah, that's fine. Just gotta shove your gun in their face, you know. What on earth? I think our PPL players are throwing. Alright, there we go. That's another one of these enemies, Dan. This is American turf now. I mean, just look at this shit. It's just glorious. Look at that. It's stars and straps. And I guarantee you, this has all been made 100% in America. Now, I can't say the same for uh, teammates here. Like, I don't know about this guy's suit. That's probably made in China. But when you're using this skin, it is 100% made in America. All right, so what we're going to do is this. We're going to pick up this dude. We're going to throw him in there. And now the enemies are going to be running away. I guarantee it. There's no way they can stand up to that. I mean, I just picked up a man and I threw him into some fidget spinners. Oh, it feels good to be an American. All right, let's get this here dwarf. Now, look at him. You're mine, little man. Ah, there we go. Oh, no, they're shooting at me. There we go, that's another one down. 
try and get this uh, at last. There we go. That's a double kill. All right, that cat point should be ours. I don't know what we're what's holding us back. They got enemies on the point over there. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna see what's going on there. We gotta protect our allies, Captain the Point. Oh, there they go. They took care of it. Good job, allies. That was 100% because this is American support right here. I am amazing. Oh, they're out of time. There we go. You're out of time, Mr. Atlas. Let's get this barrack. He's the only one keeping the point. There we go. That is a G. G. Another tip I can give you when using this skin is spam VGS as much as possible. Because, to be completely serious for a second, like, these lands are gold. <laughs> I mean, they're just perfect. They're, like, listen to this. USA! USA! Break out the barbecue! Freedom! Go nuclear on them! Go nuclear! I mean, they have they have multiple voice lines for good luck. It, it's it's amazing. You need to spam VGS in every single game. Right now, the last tip I can give you is to have fun, because there ain't nothing like trying to play a game of Paladins, and you just get a sour attitude and start getting mad at yourself. Like that's not how this game is meant to be played, right? You're a proud American, dang it. So, there's no reason to be sad, because at the end of the day, you should be proud to live in such a great nation where you can be sitting here playing in the first place. Like, Paladins is a game with giant, pink, fluffy stuffed animals in it anyways. You really shouldn't be taking it too seriously. So anyways, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this rather silly guide to playing Khan in the most American way possible. And if you did, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe for more content like this from me. Also, make sure to check out my Twitch, which is linked in the description. And don't forget to join my Discord server to pick up tips, leave suggestions, and become a part of our active community. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.